Why Land Rover Should Fear the 2025 Toyota Land Cruiser With its sleek appearance, utilitarian roots, and futuristic aesthetics, the 2023 Land Rover Defender is a popular choice in the SUV market. Toyota is adamant about giving this luxurious SUV a run for its money due to its bold, unmistakable silhouette. The Land Cruiser is making a big comeback to America, and it's better than ever. The Land Rover has long been praised in the SUV world for its sleek style, powerful engine, and sweet appearances, but it should be feared Toyota's forthcoming 2025 Land Cruiser. The Toyota Land Cruiser has a rich history. The Land Cruiser is adamant to stand out in a sea of nondescript subs, whether it be the FJ to the long-running 70 series or the J300 that isn't making it to America. Unfortunately, the Toyota Land Cruiser was withdrawn from us markets in 2021. Numerous rumors circulated that the Land Cruiser would be returning to the United States in the near future, and Toyota delivered. The 2025 Land Cruiser was shown off in some spectacular teaser photos, but only gave us a glimpse at its silhouette. The Land Cruiser never sold well due to its ancient platform, the price of the vehicle, or low demand. Toyota decided to abandon the Land Cruiser with this in mind. The Land Cruiser is now available in the United States, and it looks a lot like the 2024 Lexus GX. Toyota teased the upcoming rugged SUV with a smear of 65 years of history, highlighting the Land Cruiser's legendary history. Toyota claims to have invented the Land Cruiser, but it's not clear what they mean by that yet. The Land Cruiser's presumably square silhouette is juxtaposed with another vehicle that can be easily identified as the original 1960s FJ40 Land Cruiser. There are some similarities, such as different headlights. There were rumors that the Land Cruiser would be a retro take on the FJ40 days, but those rumors were shattered by Toyota's teaser reveal. The 2025 Land Cruiser is expected to follow suit with all of its mid-size and full-size siblings, introducing the new Tengaf body-on-frame platform. Toyota clearly wanted to create an SUV that could be both luxurious and off-roading worthy. Toyota is certain to be cost-effective when considering that the full-size Tundra production is based in San Antonio, Texas. The 2025 Land Cruiser is expected to follow suit. Toyota will build the Land Cruiser in the United States directly, avoiding tariffs or additional import costs. According to Toyota, the new 2025 Land Cruiser resembles Japan's 2024 Land Cruiser Prado. The Lexus GX is a Japanese model that is remarketed in the United States. That doesn't mean we're getting a remarketed GX. The Land Cruiser is most likely a more robust, stronger, and reliable version of the Lexus GX. The Japanese Prado will bear the Land Cruiser moniker in the United States. And as reported by Drive.com.au, the SUV will don the codename 250 Series, which relegates the older 150 Series that had remained unchanged since 2009. This naming strategy is in close relation to how the Land Cruiser 300 Series replaced the now discontinued 200 Series. So far, we expect to see a few features of the Lexus GX such as a similar suspension setup, full-time four-wheel drive, a Torsen limited slip differential, over-trail and over-trail plus off-road modes, and a two-speed transfer case. With that in mind, the upcoming Land Cruiser will continue to live up to its reputation as a legendary off-roader. While certain trims of the 2024 Tacoma bear old-school leaf spring rear coil springs, expect the Land Cruiser to get the premium Tacoma TRD Pro treatment with a state-of-the-art multi-link coil spring setup. The TNGAF platform paired with the robust suspension system will certainly give the Land Rover Defender a run for its money when it comes to off-road durability and wheel articulation. The Defender features a unibody construction which allows better handling and comfort but at the cost of off-road durability. Shortly after Toyota teased the 2025 Land Cruiser for the US market which revealed close similarities with the Lexus GX, a report has made its way to the public sphere. It appears that both SUVs won't be donning the same powertrain options. 
So far, evidence suggests that the 2025 Toyota Land Cruiser will make its way to the market with four-cylinder engines. This is a shame, considering the Lexus GX comes in a much beefier twin-turbo V6 option. Though this leaked document proposes three powertrains, we can hope Toyota decides to add the twin-turbo 3.4 liter in the trim roster with enough consumer demand. If it does, the 2025 Land Cruiser will easily outtorque the Defender, despite the latter's beefier V6 and V8 offerings. When it comes to fuel economy, Toyota wins by a landslide. If Toyota goes for an iForce Max hybrid powertrain for the Land Cruiser, it will outperform the Land Rover Hybrid Defender 110's 20 mpg rating by at least 2 mpg. Production dates for the upcoming 2025 Land Cruiser have also made their way into the public space. The European spec variant of the Land Cruiser will enter into production sometime in November 2023, which is well ahead of its expected launch in 2024 in the US. Keeping this information in mind, it's likely that Toyota will make a big press release for the upcoming 2025 Land Cruiser sometime in the coming months. The upcoming 2025 Land Cruiser will go for a cheaper price compared to what we've seen before. Previously, the 2021 Heritage model sold at a staggering $85,000. But with the widely available TNGAF platform and in-country production of many SUVs sharing the frame, expect the 2025 Land Cruiser to be much cheaper.